Energy efficient warehouses are becoming uh, more and more commonplace in, uh, in the market uh, due to the need to come up with cost savings for, for very large footprints and very large structures that, that are becoming more and more expensive to either heat and cool or to maintain. Uh, some of the techniques that are being used involve, uh, of course, different types of renewable energy. Uh, warehouses have lots of roof space, which uh, enables them to be retrofitted with solar panels. Uh, which are easily uh, uh, placed on the roof with uh, large amounts of surface area to generate electricity. Uh, geothermal, uh, underground geothermal uh, energy systems where uh, well fields are drilled in the ground to create basically an underground heat pump uh, are, are often used as a way to, uh, to provide a very effective uh, uh, cost-saving renewable energy for large structures. Uh, a lot of university campuses are going to this practice as well because of their large academic buildings. Also, uh, windows, 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 lots of lighting. Uh, I know security can be an issue in, in warehouses, so skylights, uh, uh, lots of uh, transparent or translucent materials, in-roofing material that can also be watertight or at higher elevations so that sunlight can be brought in uh, through uh, that type of lighting, uh, particularly during the day if a lot of those warehousing operations or transportation operations are taking place during the daylight hours can, can reduce energy uh, bills significantly. Of course, the tried and true method of replacing lighting in these structures with uh, energy efficient lighting like LEDs and the combination of passive uh, solar lighting or even using solar panels to store energy during the day for lighting at night are other ways that warehousers are finding uh, an opportunity to green uh, those facilities.